So in this video, um, I'm going to show you how to import one of our animations into Unity uh, and use the mechan set it up to use the mechanism system inside Unity um, so we can transfer it onto this model here. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll drag one of these dances, dance animations in. So I'll pick this top one. Um, this animation is one of our core FBX files, so it's uh, it's on our it's by default it's on our Android model, um, and it's a 60 frame second animation. So you may wish to uh, reduce the frame rate before import, or uh, use the key reduction feature once it's already imported into Unity to um, make the file smaller. So for now, I'll just drag this into the uh, assets here. Okay, so this is what we've just imported. So the first thing we need to do is to set this up um, so that Unity's mechanism system can use it, is we have to go to the rig tab here, and we're going to set it as a humanoid. We'll click Apply. Now we need to configure. I'll just save that song scene there. Okay, so the um, the character needs to be in a T pose, um, so that Unity can uh, understand properly how the rest of the animation relates to the avatar. Um, the skeleton was uh, bound, was skinned and uh, bound to the mesh in a um, T pose. Uh, but you'll find if you um, sample T-Pose, it goes on its side. And this is because the uh, software that we used had a different axis. Um, but if we go and force T-Pose, we'll, we'll see it's upright. And it's done a pretty good job of putting it in a T-Pose. If things were slightly off, we could adjust them here so that it's in a perfect T-Pose. Um, it's very important that it is set up this way. Um, and when you have all your different characters that you set up uh, for use in Unity, uh, this is kind of like the base pose across them all. So if it's all the same, then the animations will interact correctly. Um, okay, so I'll just click Apply now. There's various other settings here uh, to do with how it all works. I won't go into all of that today. Um, for now, this will be fine, so I'll just click Done. If we go into the Animation tab now for our um, character, we can see that the animation now is working. We can change the character down here, so if I go Auto, you can see it play on the um, Android character. And if we just select it, Unity Model, you can see it playing on the Unity Model. Okay, there's various settings on this animation tab as well, so we could compress the animation. Um, if we go keyframe reduction, um, increasing the number here reduces the number of frames in the animation. Um, if a smaller number will mean that there are the more of the original frames are retained. Uh, further down here, we've got the loops. We can loop this. Um, if everything's green here, then it means it's okay. Uh, there's root transform features, so it can um, adjust how it's going to work with root motion. Uh, the the um, if we just change this so that the feet there. So there's various options here that you can play with. Um, once we've done with those settings, we can just click Apply. And just have a look at that. So it looks pretty good. It's worth bearing in mind if you do use the keyframe reduction feature, uh, the more uh, you kind of compress the file, uh, the more likely it is the animation is going to start drifting and stuff and not looking as it was originally intended. So it's really important to kind of find a balance between compressing the file for use in the game engine 
and and not um, destroying the data com completely. Um, depending on what kind of animation you're using, you may want to use more compression. Um, for a dance, you kind of want to keep as much of the data there as you can get away with so that uh, you retain the fidelity of the uh, dance animation. Um, okay, so to get on this character here, we have an animation ready it's there. Um, to make it work on this character, this is a character that I've dragged into the scene. I've already set it up uh, with the T-pose and stuff uh, so that Unity's Mechanon can use it. Again, it's set as a humanoid, so these animations should work on it. To actually get this to play in our scene, we're going to need to set up an animation controller. So, um, we'll go to Assets, Create, Animator Controller. Let's just call it Controller. Okay, so if we double click on this, um, the entry state is where it begins. So, for now, uh, this is like a super basic controller. We're just going to put the animation in there um, so that it plays as if it was kind of like a, an idle animation. Um, I'm going to select the animation here. I mean, normally in a player control, this would be the idle animation, and you'd have other animation states around that it would work between. Um, this is just to test it, though. So I'm going to click on this. Uh, so that we don't get any foot drift or anything like that, let's turn on the foot IK. Um, okay, that should do. So we'll select our character in the scene, and I'll drag the animation controller into the animator um, component that I've set up in it. Okay, so if we click play now, we should see that animation playing on our character in the scene. 